choice. And my God, I've made it. You mean that you're going to leave Mother and us? You're going to make a beastly scandal and drag our name through the mud? And what about Jill? Do you suppose Cyril will stand for a mess like this? Why, you're mad! Yes, I thought it is. You're mad. Why, no sane man would do it. But you shan't, Father. Do you hear me? You shan't! Stop it! Stop it, you damn young fool! What are you thinking about? Are you mad? The matter! He's gonna leave you, Mother, that's all! He's gonna leave you and go off with his diapers, person! Leave it, you're not hurt! All right, baby. All right. Jill, take your brother upstairs. We want to be alone. Oh, my God! Are you going to leave me, David? Are you? My dear, you are. You're rather holding a pistol to my head, aren't you? Then you are going. So it's come to that. It's strange that though a man can leave his wife and his children, he can't bear to speak about it. I suppose it's Anne Page. Yes. I've always been afraid of her in my heart, though I wouldn't admit it. Afraid of her youth, of her attractions. Meg, will you believe me? I haven't changed towards you in the least bit. You're still the best friend I've ever had. The very best. And how long have I been there? Your best friend, I mean. I don't quite know. You were in love with me when we married, weren't you, David? Absolutely, my dear. But I'm not 23 any longer. Neither of us is. And your love for Anne is quite different. And you're ready to give up the home you've worked for and everything it means, just for her? I am. And you'd even hurt me cruelly. That's the dreadful part of it, Meg, hurting you. Look here, Meg. This has got to be clear. I'm leaving you for good and all. I'm going to marry Anne. And you've got to divorce me. Divorce you? Is this a joke? I... I'm stupid, I suppose, but I... I can't quite take it in. But I'm your wife, David. You can't forget that. I'm your wife. I've been trying to forget for the last six months. You're something besides a wife, aren't you? You're a good-looking woman with strong common sense. Can't you make anything out of your life but wife? Oh, I might have been many things, but it's too late now. I'm not denying you your freedom, but if I divorce you, what am I? Where shall I find a foothold? I shan't be single and I shan't be married. You've no right to take away my entity, my right to call myself your wife. Oh, David, you can't scrap me. You can't. You can't. But if I... You've got the children. Oh, for such a little while now, very soon they will go. But how will it help you to be my wife if I'm not here? Oh, doesn't it count you for anything that we were young together, that we shared passion as we shared fear and happiness? Why, that, that time when Jill was ill and nearly died, only you and I knew what the other felt. You can't destroy things like that. They go on forever. They're here, here. Meg, I don't want to destroy them. But, oh, what's the good of talking? I can't live with you any longer. I'm in love, and I want her I desperately. I know that I'm not trying to keep you from her. But love, what you call love, doesn't last. How can it last? What's going to happen when it's over? You'll be father and husband, husband and father all over again. Well, if it comes to that, it must. Will you divorce me? No! My God, Meg, you can't mean I it! I won't divorce you! Nothing will induce me to. You've asked me to strip myself of jealousy and I've done it. You've heard no word of reproach. You've asked me to give up love and I've consented to be your best friend. You asked me for your liberty and I give it to you. You asked me for ecstasy and I send you to it. And now you've got all these things you cry for more. But I've no more to give you. I'm your wife and your wife I'm going to remain. You've tricked me of everything else, but you shan't trick me of that. Yesterday, you gave me this for my birthday. Yesterday, you kissed me. You kissed me. And all the time, you wanted a divorce. Take it back. Take it back. 